guys. So, um, today I have my December favorites for you. This is something I've been thinking about doing for a long while. Um, but yeah, let's just get right on into it. Now the first two I have are hair products. These are the, they're both from Not Your Mothers. Um, first one is She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray. And the other is Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray. Um, I absolutely love both of these products. I've been buying She's, or uh, the Not Your Mothers products for a while now. Um, I also have the, what is it, the dry shampoo, I can't think of what it's called. Um, I like it, but it's not my favorite. So, yeah. Um, the next two I have are makeup remover products. This first one is the Maybelline Clean Express Classic Eye Makeup Remover. And this is the gel, I believe. Yep, the gel. Um, I absolutely love this. This gets off my makeup very easily, and because I do use a lot of waterproof mascara or waterproof products, this also helps remove those too. And the next, this was in my empties video. This is the empty. I have to get a new one. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. This is the Maybelline New York The Flash Clean Makeup Removing Lotion. This, like I stated in the empties video, this goes on as a lotion and then as you massage it into your skin, it turns into an oil base and just helps break up and lift all of that makeup. Um, and also, this one was in the empties video. This is the um, Refreshing Cleansing Palette by Equate. Um, after I use this, I'll go in with a makeup remover towel with one of the cleansing towelettes and just get it all off before I wash my face. That way I know I'm getting a majority of the product off. Alright. And then my next favorite, this has been a favorite for me for a long, long time. Um, sorry guys, I'm sick. My nose is like a faucet today. I'm sure you wanted to know that too. Um, this is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture for Combination Skin. This is... <laughs> I'm throwing things. Um, this has been, like I said, this has been a favorite of mine for a long, long time. Basically, it's the only mascara I've ever tried. <laughs> no, not mascara. The only <laughs> moisturizer I've ever tried and liked. Alright, now going into face products. Makeup, people. It's all in here. This is the same box from my haul. I absolutely love this box. I think I'll be keeping it. The first one I have is the NYC Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. I use this for every look. Um, it works really well on me um, because I'm lighter. I have I don't get sun much. Um, I don't get much sun. There we go. Let's use proper grammar, people. Alright, and then the next one I have, this is one that I've had for a while, but I've kind of started using it a little more. I do love my BH Cosmetics blush palette, but I'm trying to rediscover some products that I've kind of fallen out of love with. This has become a favorite of mine again. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Deep Coral. It's just this really pretty, corally pink shade. Let's find it because I just lost it right here. <clears throat> I know that didn't really show up very well, but we'll, we'll just pretend like it did. Um, the next one I have, blush product. Let's see if I can find it. It's at the bottom of my box. This is the Natural Beauty um, Mineralized Blush in Pink Petal. I'm just about out of this one. 
Um, I'll have to go to Gordon's or Cole's. See if I can find another one. But this is just a really pretty um, peachy pink tone. If you can see that. Lighting in here is terrible, people. Right there. <laughs> right underneath where I had the other blush swatch. Alright. The next face product is my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. This has become my new Holy Grail powder. I, I absolutely love this. It's very translucent. Um, very fine milled so you don't even really feel it on your face um, yeah this has become my new favorite alright and now for eyes see if I can get these all out I should have already had these separated way to go Lindsay um, I do have a lot of eye products because I think my eyes are my best feature, so I'm constantly trying to play them up and make the blue of my eyes just a lot brighter. Um, the first product I have is the CoverGirl, what is this, Flamed Out um, Shadow Pencil in Crystal Flame. Let's go ahead and swatch that real quick. I do use this one quite a bit, if I can find it. There it is. Um, I have learned do not put this on your water line. <laughs> it burns. I thought it would be pretty to put it there. Bad idea. Alright, and then the next product I have is one that I use all the time, which is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is just the regular shade. I wanted to try um, the candlelight, candlelit, I don't know. Um, I want to give that a try too because it will add just like a really pretty shimmer to my eye look. Um, the next one I have, I believe this is from Maybelline. I could be wrong. Um, but this is just their brow pencil double-sided, one-sided, one side is the pencil, the other is the spoolie. Um, I have just recently discovered this not too long ago. Um, I was just using an angled brush and a brown shadow that's about the same color as my hair to fill in my eyebrows, but I absolutely love this. <laughs> All right. Next one, I use this every time. It's just the um, Rimmel London Scandalized Waterproof Polka Jaw in black. Like I said, I use this liner every single, every time I do my makeup. Um, it goes on really, really smooth and it's really, really pigmented. It's black. How pigmented could it be? Um, although I do want to try the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Perversion. I've heard that's about the blackest black that you can get. Um, the next product I have, let's go with eyeshadow. This is the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal 24-hour shadow in Barely Branded. It's just this really pretty shimmery nude. I basically use this every time I do my makeup. Um, if I want to go for like a more natural look. Where'd you go? Right there. And then my new favorite palette which is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. Um, I am wearing this right now. So, once again, I did a look using all six shades. 
So I have Foxy in the inner quarter of my lid. Um, let's see, Walk of Shame on the rest of the lid. Um, Naked to as a transition all the way up to the brow bone or stopping just at the brow bone. Faint in the crease and then Crave is just in the outer corner. And then Venus is my brow bone highlight and the inner corner highlight. And then the last two eye products are mascaras. These are two products that I've been absolutely loving for, well, this one for a while, this one for like the past few days. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is the... CoverGirl Flamed Out Waterproof Mascara. I absolutely love waterproof mascaras. All my mascaras are waterproof, except for this one. So, I couldn't find the waterproof, but I really wanted to try it. I absolutely love this brush. It just helps give the most volume that it could. Or, it helps. Amazing volume. There we go. <laughs> um, my brain's a little fuzzy right now. And then this one is the CoverGirl Bombshell Volume by Lash, Bla Lash Blast Mascara. So it's double sided. The first side is just the chunky, plasticky, rubbery, whatever you want to call it, brush. Um, and then second side is the wiry brush that I absolutely love. It helps separate all my lashes. Um, what you do is you go in with side one and you do two to three good coats of that. Um, you don't let them dry. Do not let them dry in between. But just do two to three good coats of that. Wiggling or taking it from your base, the base of your lashes and wiggling it upwards to the tip and then you follow with step two and I absolutely love this I don't I tend not to wear false lashes a whole lot just because I have a problem with applying them I need to get me um, a really good pair of tweezers for my false lashes um, so yeah alright and then the rest of these are lip products and surprisingly, I'm pretty sure these are all Revlon products. Um, the first three are the um, Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. So, the first one is Honey. I've been absolutely loving this for whenever I want a more natural look. Hi, okay, yeah. Air. And then the next one is in Romantic. And this color is buildable. So it goes on kind of sheer at first. And then after a few passes, it builds up quite nicely. And then the third one is in Crush. I don't know why I have to keep looking at it, even though I know what it is. And I am wearing Crush right now. Um, you can't really tell in the lighting. But it is a very purple shade. Just right there. And then the next one I have. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Black Cherry. I have been absolutely loving this one. It's just a deep, plummy, burgundy not really burgundy shade so I absolutely love that and then the last one for whenever I want a more natural look um, this is usually the one that I will wear whenever I'm getting ready for work or the one that I reapply at work this is the Revlon Colorburst Lip Butter in Juicy Papaya it's just this pinky natural peachy, corally shade. Right there on the wrist. 
So yeah, that is it for my December favorites. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. If you do, I will continue to do them. I'm just trying to think of other things to do rather than just tutorials. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.